Welcome back, my friends, to the Predictive Playbook. I'm your host, John Ryan, and I'm here to talk about the big series that actually starts tomorrow. That's Friday, August the 6th, 2021, when the New York Mets visit the city of brotherly love and the Philadelphia Phillies, who have tightened up this race here in the NF, um, in the National League East uh, quite a bit here. And this game is going to be in this series is going to go a long way in, in defining who is actually going to represent the National League East in the playoffs. And um, with this matchup, we have Kelly Gibson, who was acquired by the Phillies at the trading deadline from the Texas Rangers, taking the hill. He'll be going up against uh, Marcus Stroman of the Mets. The Mets had lost 10 in a row before getting a win on August 4th. Um, they're, they're playing Miami in the final of a four-game set. This series against the Phillies will be three and will include Suarez, who was brought in to the starting rotation with this move by Gibson um, being acquired by the Phillies. And the series ends with uh, Wheeler uh, pitching for the Phillies. So the Mets are in serious trouble in this in this series, in my opinion. And by Monday, if the Phillies sweep you, obviously we'll have a new leader atop the National League East. And as I said so many times on Manny's Pub show that airs 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday, that I thought the Phillies weeks ago were the team to bet at 8-1 to one to win the division. And it looks like that's going to pan out. But Atlanta is surprisingly playing well, too. But in this uh, particular system here, we're going to use the run line uh, to back up our play here. And this game starts at 7-10 tomorrow night. You're going to bet on a home team using the minus one-and-a-half run line, facing an opponent with a solid starting pitcher with Marcus Stroman is, ERA of three or lower on the season in a divisional matchup. And our home team has a slugging percentage of not higher than 480 over the last 10 games. This has gone 32-14 and 14 for 70% winning bets making 25.1 units over the last 20 seasons. And note, I'm playing this, even if it's an alternate line, if somehow the Mets become a road favorite, which I don't think they will, the line currently is uh, near pick uh, But I do think the, that the money will come in on, on Philadelphia here later this evening and push it up to probably minus 120, minus 125. So if you can get a minus one and a half run line now, as in Thursday afternoon for this game, I would get it now rather than later, because I think the line for Philadelphia will go up from where it is right now. So one last thing, Sports Memo has a great deal here. And the number one NFL, and number one college football handicappers, which is Matt Josephs in college football and myself in the NFL, they put together us as a package. So you can get the NFL season from me you get the college football season from from matt and uh, the combination of uh of us two working for you i'm very excited about and i think it'd be a wise decision to invest some money in in yourself and have matt joseph and i start working for you this college football and nfl season plus you save 400 dollars, which you then can spend on some of the other tremendous handicappers and professional sports bettors at WagerTalk and also at SportsMemo.com. So this is what makes this family so good. And we combine our efforts. We're not competing against one another, not trying to cannibalize sales, for example. And that's why it's such an, an enjoying experience to wake up every day and work for WagerTalk and SportsMemo.com. So that'll do it for this edition of the Predictive Playbook. Again, the, the play is... The Philadelphia Phillies minus one and a half run line. Be sure to get over to sportsmemo.com. And as always, may all the wins be yours.